Dams alter streams in several ways, impacting the plants and animals that thrive in stream and along the stream banks. Trout and other species that depend on cold water to survive are one example. Dams that result in the formation of a pond or an impoundment slow flowing waters and trap sediment. As a result, heat from the sun penetrates the water column of the stagnant and darker sediment-laden water, causing the water to warm. When a dam is removed, the natural stream channel is allowed to return to its normal width and depth. The water temperature typically responds immediately, returning to its original cold state. It doesn't take long for trout to find their way back to the formerly uninhabitable reach. Silver Springs is a complex of springs at the headwaters of Mill Creek, a tributary to the Onion River in eastern Wisconsin. Around the 1940s, numerous dams and concrete raceways were built to create seven ponds for a recreational fish hatchery. This warmed the temperature of the water and blocked fish passage to important spawning habitat. The fish hatchery failed due to economic reasons and eventually the land was sold to the Department of Natural Resources. In 1999, the Great Lakes Protection Fund, Trout Unlimited, the River Alliance of Wisconsin, and the Wisconsin DNR partnered to remove the dams and restore Silver Springs. Their goals were to reduce thermal pollution, eliminate aquatic species passage barriers, restore a forested wetland, and restore spawning and rearing habitat for cold water species. More than 1,200 feet of restored stream channel was designed to reconnect the springs to Mill Creek. Wood and other features were incorporated to provide aquatic habitat. The hatchery ponds in the headwaters were converted to wetland and planted with emergent and sedge meadow species. Grasses and shrubs were also planted along the stream channel to provide stability and over 1,400 trees were planted to provide shade throughout the property. The restoration was completed in 2002. Between 2002 and 2005, macroinvertebrates and fish recolonized the newly created stream channel. By June of 2002, there were 309 brown trout per mile throughout the new reach, and in June 2005, there were 2,758 brown trout per mile. That is nearly twice the amount in the control reach downstream. In addition to brown trout, brook trout and brook stickleback have been found in the restored reach. The project was a success. They would put this in uh, last weekend in April, and by the end of May, he didn't see another fisherman the rest of the summer. Now, since the restoration's been almost completed, people are fishing it every day during the fishing season, and multiple people, and they're catching fish all summer long. I think that's the biggest difference, is the water stays cold, it stays clear, and the fish are in there, and they're self-producing. Just down the road, the Wisconsin DNR purchased another piece of property on Ben Nut Creek, another tributary of the Onion River. This property is referred to as Camrith Springs. In the 1950s, two small dams were built here to form ponds that were used to rehabilitate racehorses. Another small dam was built just upstream and served as a small fish hatchery. In May of 1999, the first pond was drained and the stream channel above and below the former structure was restored. In 2001 and 2002, the other dams are removed to complete the project. Approximately 2,300 feet of habitat was restored. An additional stretch above the project site to the headwaters is also now accessible to fish passage as well as a result of the dam removals. The Camrath dam removals dramatically reduced water temperatures. The maximum temperature a cold water stream should be is 67 degrees. Prior to the removal of the dams, the water flowing from the site was 67 degrees or warmer, 57 out of 60 days in the summer. Today, the water is 67 degrees or warmer, only 15 out of 60 days of the summer. As the vegetation that was planted along the stream corridor matures, the water temperatures will continue to drop. One thing about the Onion River project 
that's unique to the nation is that we were able to secure the two major headwaters that form the Onion River. And without doing that, I don't think the success of our project would be anywhere near as what it is now. These restorations, just two of the over 160 dam removals in the state of Wisconsin, were the result of a partnership between the Wisconsin DNR, Trout Unlimited, the River Alliance of Wisconsin, and the Great Lakes Protection Fund. Visit the River Alliance's website, www.wisconsinrivers.org, to learn more about dam removal and how you can support these efforts.